हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ लेट सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम विच सीज दैट द माइन कार एंड इट्स कंटेंट्स हैव अ टोटल मास ऑफ सिक्स मेगाग्राम एंड सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी एट जी इफ द कोफिशन ऑफ स्टेटिक फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द व्हील्स एंड द ट्रेक एज पॉइंट फोर वन द व्हील्स आर लॉक्ड फाइन द नॉर्मल फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन द फ्रंट व्हील्स एट बी एंड द रेयर व्हील्स एट ए वन द ब्रेक्स एट बोथ ए एंड बी आर लॉक and we are asked that find the condition uh, does the car move right so we have to determine that if it is sliding or not so now we are given that the weight is going to act at this point g and the mass is given in grams so the mass is 6 into 10 raised to power 6 grams and if i divide it by 1000 so we will have the mass in kg so this is going to be 6 into 10 raised to power 3 kg and the weight is equal to mass times g so this is 6 into 10 raised to power 3 into 9.81 so this is 6 into 10 raised to the power 3 into 9.81 so this gives me 58860 so weight is 58860 newtons or we can say that this is 58.86 kilonewton if i divide by 1000 so you will have it in kilonewtons so we need to use this weight in kilonewtons since this external force is given in kilonewtons right so i will write that this weight is 58.86 kilonewtons similarly the friction forces will be acting in the opposite direction to the external force so here at b we will have the friction force which will be acting in this direction so this will be f b and here we will have f a and similarly the normal force will be acting vertically upward this is an b and here we will have an a so now if we apply the uh, summation of moment about point b equals to 0 and the counter clockwise moment is positive so this weight is going to produce the clockwise moment so i will write minus 58.86 8.6 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point B is 0.6, so we will multiply it with 0.6. Similarly, this 10 kilonewton external force is going to produce the counterclockwise moment about this point B, so I will write plus 10. And the moment arm of this 10 kilonewton force from that point B is this 0.9 plus the radius of this wheel, which is 0.15. so i will write 0.9 plus 0.15 similarly this and a is going to produce the counter clockwise moment about that point b as well so i will write plus and a multiply by the perpendicular distance of this and a from that point b which is 1.5 so i will multiply it with 1.5 and this is equal to 0 and if i bring this to the other side of equation so its sign will become negative this is minus and a into 1.5 so we can find it an a which is minus 58.86 into 0.6 plus 10 into 0.9 plus 0.15 divided by 1.5 or divided by minus 1.5 so an a is 16.544 an a is equal to 16.544 newtons this is in kilonewtons right since everything is in kilonewtons now if we apply the summation of forces along the y axis is equals to 0 and if we assume that the upward direction is positive so as we can see that uh, this and a is acting in the upward direction and its magnitude is 16.544 kilonewton similarly this weight is acting downward this is minus 58.86 and this plus and b so plus and b and this is equal to 0 
So from this we can find N B. This is this will be equal to minus N B. So if I multiply both sides by minus, so this will become minus, and this will become plus, and this will become plus. So this is N B. So N B is minus sixteen point five four four plus fifty eight point eight six. So this is forty two point three one six kilonewton N B. Forty-two point three one six kilonewton. So we have determined the normal uh, reactions at A and B, uh, and A is sixteen point five four four kilonewton, and B is forty-two point three one six kilonewton. Now we have to answer this question: that does the car move? So we can find that F A max. The maximum friction that the surface can offer to the wheels at A is equal to mu s times n A. So mu s is given, which is 0.4, and n A is known, which is 16.544. So 0.4 into 16.544. This gives me 6.6176. So F A max six point six one seven six kilonewton, and similarly we can find the maximum friction that the surface can offer to wheels at B. So that will be F B max mu s times N B, and mu s is again point four, and N B is forty two point three one six. So F B max is let me write F B max equals to zero point four into forty two point three one six. This gives me sixteen point nine two six. Sixteen point nine two six kilonewton. Now if I add up both of these, if I write F A Max plus F B max. So this is we can add both of these. So sixteen point nine two six four plus six point one seven six. So this is twenty three point one zero twenty three point one zero kilonewton. And this friction, which is offered by the surface, is greater than the external force T. We, uh, the external force here, which is 10 kilonewton. So from this, we can we can say that the car is not moving since the external force is not greater than the friction offered by the surface to both the wheels at A and B. So from this, we can conclude that this external force is uh, not able to counteract that frictional force. This force is not sufficient to overcome that frictions at A and B, so the car, the mine car, is not moving. So this is the solution of this problem. I hope uh, you people would have understood this problem solution. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet, and like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from Hibbler statics.